A decade-long beef between two of modern rap's big three mm -hmm. has exploded in the past few weeks. It's hard to keep track of all the back and forth. Kendrick Lamar and Drake have been very publicly trading spars through bars in their latest tracks. Right, and though the 10 years have been full of subtle jabs at each other, the two rappers at one time were friendly enough to feature, uh, be featured, I should say, on each other's songs. But now, the rappers aren't leaving any questions about their feelings toward one another. Nothing seems to be off the table on these new tracks. There are accusations of infidelity, critiques of each other's parenting, attacks on musical style. But for hip-hop fans, the duel is more than just a tit-for-tat. It is about the essence of the game itself. Joining us now is Tia Tyree, professor at Howard University School of Communications. Professor Tyree, thank you so much for joining us. So in my house, my kids have been talking about this nonstop. <laughs> Rap battles are nothing new, but they're best known by their eras, like Biggie Tupac, Jay-Z Nas. Um, some have even led to death and violence. Why is this yes. one different, and is safety a concern here at all? Well, we just saw some tragic news a little bit earlier. We don't want to make any um, allegations or jump to any conclusions. But yes, violence is a part of hip hop culture for better or worse. And we do want to make sure that this stays to lyrical sparring, that this stays to what we've been enjoying over the weekend, which is two of some of the greats in hip hop really, really sparring it out lyrically. And I was asking about how is this different from the ones we've seen in previous eras? This is completely different because we have the element of social media. Mm. They now can drop a track and within minutes it is going viral. Everyone can listen to it. We can comment under the YouTube video. We can have a whole conversation on X. We can go over to TikTok and have our own commentary. So unlike in the past where you had to go, you know, talk to your friends over the phone or go to the barbershop or wait for the beauty salon on on the weekend, you can now share your thoughts immediately with the world and, and see exactly how that feels. Let me ask you, uh, commercialism and authenticity are deeply rooted issues in the music culture. So where do you see hip hop going next? We talk a little bit about the barbershop and the beauty salon and some of that can be infused with the social media, right? That instant sort of talk back. But these are two very big sort of buckets, if you will, the commercialism and the authenticity. No, they're one in the same. Um, street cred has been a, a commentary and something that rappers have essentially wasted their career trying to defend. Like, I am the truth. This is my narrative that's real. And so that plays into commercialism. If you're seen as authentic, if your narrative is real, people will definitely um, support you and think that you are the real thing, which is kind of what Drake is fighting about because people are saying, you know, he's from Canada. He was on television. Is he real? Is he authentic? And then you play that against Kendrick and his background. And that's kind of what's fueling these conversations about who is the true legend, who is on top and where their narratives play out. And the bottom line is that it's drawing more people to listen to their music yeah. though, right? Absolutely. Just overnight, I just saw 29 million views on Drake's um, song. So it wow. really is about spins. It really is about money. I mean, he could probably do a whole set in his next tour with just these songs right. alone. Yeah. So obviously keeping safety in mind, uh, the feud is good for, uh, for their pockets. For the banks, right? Yes. Yeah. And followers and potential sponsorships. And we kind of want to keep it there. We want to make sure that fans stay out of it. If yeah. this was, you know, Mike Tyson in the ring, we wouldn't jump in and help Mike Tyson. <laughs> Just let this play out. They will be fine. This is something to enjoy and not to take too seriously that we bring violence into the situation. Right. Good point. It'll be interesting to see what Kendra comes up with in response to Drake's latest drop, right? All right. Tia Tyree from Howard University. Thank you so much for your time.